Hi folks, the Comet here, and this is how about a game of Lufia for the GBA, and um, this is my new hit series, uh, cause how how to uh, how to play how how about a game of uh, whatever, and um, this was actually recommended for my friends at the uh, stream of Lord Cats, and also by my friend Skitch. Uh, so I wish to thank all of them for suggesting uh, how to uh, a, a new wave of series uh, that'll be flowing out here soon. And uh, many thanks to them for thank for the new recording and blah 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 blah. And here's the actual intro to Lufia. This is a, a Lufia is one of my favorite series, along with Final Fantasy and so on and so forth. It's a great RPG series. Now I'm not gonna play it all the way through. Uh, I might. It just depends on how much time I got. But the game is absolutely fantastic, and uh, it is just one of these great games to play. Looks great. These are the main characters here. You can rename them whatever you like. His original name is Lucian, I do believe. Lufia, the Ruins of Lore. Sweet. Now you can start from a continue game or a new one. And we're going to do a brand new game. What the hell is this? Huh. The power of the gods. We're... Where will it lead to those who seek it? The Passive Jerry or the Road to Destruction? Or into this game? Behold. <laughs> Bowley going back to where no man has gone before. <laughs> yep, and this is the main character and his mom. Now you can rename him anything you like. Go figure, um... Uh, As a standard with all Lufia games, you got all the coolness. I'll show you the uh, option and stuff in just a moment. If you people wish me to continue playing this game, leave me a comment, and I'll continue playing it. But for now, you're only getting this one. Oh, by the way, all the characters in this one are hunters of some kind. It's a anime-based style details. You can see, see the anime sweat drops. Pretty cool. Now we actually have color. Hooray! Now these are the main characters here, which is Lucian and this Joker. Now they'll get up here in a second. Now, uh, when you actually can. Um, Get up, you dumbass. Kicks him out of bed. <laughs> That's right. Yep, Torama is cool. He's not asleep, we just kicked his ass out of bed. <laughs> yep. And now, folks, we'll proceed on. In just a moment, uh, when you actually get to control your character, you'll be able to choose one of his outfits and how he looks. So on and so forth. Yep. Flowers? WTF flowers, man.
<laughs> and and when uh That's right, we're gonna run in, you know. Don't worry, we will. Now this is the main character here and here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Now you hit select, and this is the character's main name up here, which is Elden right now. You'll be able to rechange it here soon. But here's the item. None. AP is uh, ability points. You'll get those a little bit later. Here's the status for said character. And uh, I'll give a little explanation just very quickly. EXP, EXP next to the next level. Blah. Job is a little bit later in the game. You'll be able to take job classes, which is fighter. Uh, uh, mm, there's like fighter, chemist, priest, healer, you name it. It's probably there. Okay, really quick. Attack, defense, agility, intelligence, magic resistance, and IP. All the goodness. Now, this monster means what monster he's attached to. That means later in the game, you're able to capture monsters through discs. And you're able to put them on your side. So as soon as you get a disc, you're allowed to use them. Now, when your character uses the B button, he'll swipe. But for now, we want to change some stuff around. Okay. Now, if you have compidiums, if any, if you have anything, you, you know, you discovered in the game, you'll go to the compidiums. Now, you'll change it to fast. Now... Yay! You hit the B button. Swish! Now, remember, I'm going to the castle. So, I don't think they got any money yet. Let's see. Yeah, he does! Now, you'll see um, up here, right here it says, going from 18 to 28, if you buy something from down here. Notice that his defense goes up as well. But we want to buy the claw for the boy. Okay, and then you'll be able to buy something else. Now, what you want to do here is go, uh, Oh, we don't want to do that. Get out of there. Shoot. You go to a select screen like this. Go to equip character. Okay. Now, he's already got one now. What we'll do is... Um, I'll explain the sword thing in a second. There we go. Now, in any RPG, you want to, you want to uh, explore the town and uh, have a look. Now, his sword can do this. Swish! Swish! Basically, effectively, think of it like cutting the grass. Now, these are ends. These are very important. Because he can break glass. He can break jars. And find stuff like this! This is very important. You want to go into each house and go, Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, treasure. And basically, you run through the towns like this and go, Ooh, give daddy. Ooh, give daddy. Or you can go into people's houses and go, Ooh, thanks for the money, chump. Later on, you'll meet a character who can break barrels, but that's a little bit later. Anyway, this is just the beginning town here, folks. Okay, now that's all settled. This is the item shop, folks. Make sure you catch them. Okay, what you want to do is uh, have at least... At least three potions. Now, the, now I've never used any of these wake-up calls or sandy pills in my entirety of playing the game. I've never used any of those things. Later on, when money is not a real problem, you can buy them in spades. But <laughs> people don't seem to have a problem. You walk in and it's smashing their uh, stuff. <laughs> the castle, I do believe, is up here. But we gotta go in here really quick. We run around. Go anything in here? Woo! Potion. You can talk to people if you really want to. Now, you go to the king up here, and we're gonna go do that right now. 
Parcel Castle, and we're gonna deal with stupid. There he is. Sweet. Now we're going to register for hunters. And what's going to happen is, is the, they're going to order us to go down below and go fetch uh, something to uh, require uh, you to require be hunters. It's it's not exact. It's the first beginning dungeon, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yep. Whenever someone says no one has come back from it yet, that means usually means he the person who's meant to come back from it will come back from it. Okay. And we'll automatically do it, guys. Now, you can change the character's name at your whim. Go figure what I'm going to change it to. Now, this is the main character. You'll stick with he'll stick with you the whole game. So, you want to name him something more memorable. Gee, I wonder what you name him. And now, this is the different outfits you can give the man. It, once you choose it, it's for keeps now. You can choose this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This has been my personal favorite because he has some red eyes on him. It's been a personal favorite. If you people wish to read the text more in, in Kingdom, please pause the video. Because I'm not because I'm not stopping for anybody. Ha 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 ha! Now, I don't think you could change Toruma's name, but you can change the main character, I know for sure. Yay, Compendiums! Sweet! Now, in, in any RPG, uh, you want to level up the characters a little bit. I'll show you the first battle, then we'll proceed on. Okay, and I'll show you one battle, and we'll proceed on. Now the, the enemy moves you do now here's the first battle. Now this is run uh, this is a uh, swap right here. This means run away, but this means swap from front to back. Not necessary. This is magic, if any. Which is none right now. Item tree, defending, or attacking. Since all we have is attacking right now, that's all we're gonna be doing. The music in Lufia has always been memorable for me. I love it. Yeah! Now, Douse is a special ability by the monsters. It is a pain in the rear. Now, what you want to do for in any RPG, you want to level up the characters just a little bit so they'll not be totally retarded at the monster time. Now, the IP will build up as your attack, and you can do several kinds of cool moves, but that's a little bit later. Now, a lot of people will level up at the Ancient Cave, which is way later in the game. But that is an excellent leveling spot. It's where I level up the main character to the uh, to what he to what he is now. Of course, that's just the main character doing it. <laughs> we'll get into that a little bit later. But effectively, you know, that's how it looks. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed it so far. Now, what you want to do here is after you uh, did a little battling. The characters are got a little stronger as the battle goes. Now, in this particular event, what you want to do is go. Uh, I'll show you what to do here. You do not go to the end for this first battle or this first detail. Do not repeat. Do not go to the end. Go here instead. Over into not this house, but this one. One right here. Hold on. There it is. I forgot to go back and get it. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Now this is the uh, alchemist. Forgot to go get him. And it tells you the items you need. Now later on, you'll be able to um, make cool stuff.
Okay, well, you know. Okay, well, I thought the thought she was gonna give us a free room and board. Okay, never mind. Ugh. So much for having freebies. Okay. Now, with that being said, here it is. Have a look. One character. The other one. Now, this is what his looks like. Now, he has a rope for his. I'll show you his in a second. Oops. We can't swap out anyway, because you it's its a little bit later game. You can use his special abilities, which is the rope. But that's a little bit later. But I hope you enjoyed the very first series of How About a Game of Luvia. This is Lord Comet saying, have a good night all, and God bless.